has been a, a very big change, I would say, for our partner schools. Our school teachers and head teachers uh, has been, uh, and our fellows has been working in collaboration to build their own skills with distance learning, digital learning, especially supporting students with low resource and low resource community where accessing technology has been a big challenge. It is our duty and responsibility as an educator and also the community uh, to do whatever it takes to, um, to, to ensure that our kids can safe and continue learning. We're still recruiting more teachers, so we train them so that they can um, teach more students during this time and we also investing for their leadership so that they can foster more leadership in different levels for, for students, for, for their whole classroom. Pre-pandemic, we define access by building more schools, classrooms, and providing facilities and learning materials to our learners. However, the disruption brought by the pandemic triggered the redefinition of education access. We have also seen the evolution of the teaching learning process. From the typical teacher-student interaction within the classroom, parents now play a critical role in ensuring learning continuity among learners. During this pandemic, a teacher Bangladesh's top, top priority has been keeping students safe and keeping learning going on no matter what. We have transferred the full program and fellowship program to online including the fellow training and their development and we adapted the distance learning approach for our students learning. Our teachers mentioned their experience difficulty in sustaining contact and interaction among some of their um, students and parents who also had to grapple with certain realities apart from education like income, access to technology, familial concerns, among others. What does being a teacher really mean in a pandemic? What is teaching if I am not with my students? Based on our learning uh, from the ground and also from our fellows, we focus on building the fellow skills in how to support students in distance learning approach, how to closely work with communities who are going through so much loss and pain at this point of time. So to address these challenges that our program participants are um, facing, they, they did keep reflecting and really thinking through on, what, on why are they um, joining this work in the first place. So they really recenter really themselves and repurpose themselves. We also see that they also leverage other people's strengths, uh, other fellows, and the teachers and also the school to, to, um, to cut away those strengths so that they can keep moving forward with the student. As, as an organization, we are very proud and motivated to work closely with the next generation of leaders um, when a nation is going through such a thing and and working beside uh, the young population who are going to change and move this work forward. Despite all this truth and reality, we see new possibility that, that we as an organization to work with other people, other partners to uh, to bring in new uh, opportunity and learning new, the new learning experience for our students to move, keep moving forward um, to ensure that they uh, keep still engaging in the learning process during this time. So this is really exciting me the most that we are the community, we are educators, we are teachers, and we are also the frontliner to the education. Whenever teachers report or share stories and anecdotes of how excited their students and parents are in joining our programs, or when their co-teachers excitedly open and use the printers that our partners have donated for them to print modules, these are some of the stories that motivate us to continue because it demonstrates that there is interest and willingness to continue education even amid this uncertain time.
we celebrate our partners from the Department of Education, the local government units, our teachers, students, and parents who joined us in a year of learning and the pandemic. 